Hey guys, what's up? By Zach Detron here from One Half Gazette, here with the next video, and I want to quickly kind of address the future of One Hive Genesis as well as the future of this channel because uh, a lot of stuff has gone down, and I feel like if I don't make a video now, it's going to be hard to get myself to do it later during the week when I have other stuff going on. So before the weekend ends, I just want to uh, address this, uh, all the stuff going on. Don't have all the information for you guys. Some stuff is still yet to be determined. So I'll let you guys know, uh, kind of you know, sprinkling it into later videos on the channel. Probably just say it at the beginning of a few videos. But the main next chunk of information uh, since the first video I made on this is is going to come out and uh, yeah I'll just go through it I'll get specific and I think we should start with uh, what actually happened to start all of this because I didn't you know address it that well in the first video I think I can summarize it a little bit better in hindsight so here we go basically it started with uh, a member of our clan Karam getting uh, permanently banned by Supercell in the next wave of bans for using third-party software on his device um, now, originally, I said I thought it was probably a farming bot. Turns out it might have been a something that affected Clan Wars. I think that's probably the only explanation, considering how serious the consequences were. So it probably did affect war in some way. I just want to uh, say that. I mean, I don't know for certain. I don't know much about uh, bots or mods or anything. But from what I've been able to observe, probably had some impact on war. He was, unfortunately, in one of our CWL wars against six Schlitzes. Now, both his attacks were dips, and we did lose anyway. So not like we unfairly, you know, affected the war in any way that actually cost... Uh, cost the other clan the win, but still it's never good to have someone modding in one of your CWL wars, regardless of whether or not it impacts the war. So that was unfortunate to see, but perhaps even worse was that, um, and I don't want to sound like I'm complaining because really I am happy Supercell's taking steps towards getting rid of uh, modders and botters and whatever they're called. Um, I am happy about this and I'm not going to complain because I think it's doing a lot of good probably. Uh, we just happen to be kind of a, a byproduct of it. And uh, that's what is what it is. But basically, uh, One Hive Genesis, because we had someone who was using third party software in one of our wars, we were uh, banned from war for two weeks. The clan itself was, as well as um, about half the players in the clan uh, who were in wars with Karam were banned as well. Uh, 14 days. The only permanent ban was uh, Karam himself. Uh, everyone else, including the clan, was a 14-day ban from doing clan wars. They can still get on their accounts. They just can't participate in wars. So that was unfortunate. And uh, real, real quick, I just want to address um, kind of some of the critics that have been saying you opened the door for modding when uh, you split apart from the One Hive clan. Uh, that kind of stuff, because there has been a significant amount of people saying that. And I do want to address that because it's not completely an unfair uh, point, I guess. I can see where people would get that from. But in a way, it, it it's kind of unrelated. And if I can explain, basically, um, the whole thing where we broke apart from the main One Hive clan about six months ago... That was because um, one of our members was banned and was su suspected of modding. Uh, we were kind of going to go through the same process. Um, Supercell apparently caught him. So typically, we, we removed that person. We were a fair play clan. Uh, but there was evidence that he actually wasn't modding. He had a modified phone. I kind of went through all this before. I just want to do it quickly, though. And uh, anyway, the thing is, while we were investigating, we took out his main account. We took him out of leadership. We took him out of wars. Uh, but once evidence came out in his favor, showing that he might actually not be modding we let one of his accounts stay mainly for communication and to show that we were kind of going to be fair we're not going to completely dump him we're going to kind of stand by him it was more of a symbolic uh, thing and that's kind of how the split started there was probably other issues as well um, but that was the reason that one hive gave when they split apart with us so not that related to this situation i just wanted to say that i don't think we opened the door for cheaters and uh yeah, just my opinion there, I guess. But yeah, all that being said, that's basically what happened with One Hive. We had the 14-day ban for both the clan and some players, and we did have a few people leave. You know, we had a, a number of people leave because of that. I think the reason is that uh, people want to continue participating in CWL, and unfortunately, uh, we're out of it for two weeks, and then after people left, enough people left that we couldn't put together a full roster um, or at least have a good chance of putting together a full roster by the time we came back. So we had to drop out of the uh, CWL 
permanently, at least for the first season of it. There's probably going to be multiple seasons. But for the first season, we are dropping out of the CWL, even though we're able to technically technically come back in two weeks. We aren't able to field a roster probably, um, which is unfortunate because like I said, we did have a number of members leave. I think you know part of it is they don't want to be caught up in any drama or anything, which I completely understand. And it's just a game for fun. Uh, but at the same time, a big player base did stay, which I was really th uh, thrilled to see. And I think it testifies to how great the clan is, um, how good of an environment it is, how much people like that. Because despite, you know, this going down and our clan being labeled stuff and just a lot of drama, uh, we still had probably more than half the people stay, uh, which is nice to see. And we're going to continue to kind of recruit, rebuild. We're just doing farming wars and kind of low-key wars for a little while. We'll probably get back to arranged wars once we get a serious roster together. Uh, we still have quite a few members. I don't want to act like we don't have any members left, but uh, the thing is, you know, people kind of want to break from everything. Just going to do a few uh, farming wars, then we'll get back to it later. Um, so I, as always, I encourage you guys to apply to join if you are interested. Uh, as, as I've said in the past, but now probably especially, it's a good time to apply because we have... Uh, a lot of openings, you could say, uh, from people leaving, but uh, the clan's still strong. Things are going to be fine. I'm going to continue to keep, uh, you know, my account here, um, but that kind of moves into my next point, uh, which I want to talk about is the YouTube channel itself, and uh, basically, guys, uh, I want to continue to bring you guys the same kind of coverage of high-level wars. Um, in Genesis, I'll probably only be able to get, you know, occasional competitive wars because we aren't doing any arranged wars, at least for the foreseeable future. So because of that, I have been kind of looking into just bringing maybe my second account or something over to another clan that is doing CWL. I'm not sure exactly what clan or anything, but that's something I'm looking to do. And I think it could be a, a you know, a win-win for both sides. That clan would get some publicity being on the channel. They get to see their attacks, which is always cool. And uh, I could be able to have some stuff to show you guys beyond just the kind of the, you know, so-so wars. Uh, that you're kind of seeing right now with these types bases because I do want to show more CWL coverage and I think it would be cool to kind of go to a different clan, show some of that. Still would be loyal to Genesis. I would still uh, keep my account there. I probably wouldn't participate in the CWL. Just kind of want to record their attacks, have it for the channel, and uh, I'll do live attacks on my, you know, in Genesis on my main account. That's what I'm hoping for. I'm still talking about that with different people. If you guys are in a CWL clan that's in the league and uh, you'd like me to come over and, you know, record uh, every once in a while, do hit me up, you know, whether through email or in the comments or whatever, because I probably do have a few viewers who are kind of in leadership in one of the CWL clans. Haven't made any decisions yet, so if you are interested, you can hit me up, and I'll probably talk with you, see if it's something uh, that would benefit both of us, and uh, yeah, so uh, let me know if that's something that you're you're interested in, if you're one of those CW, CWL people, so think that pretty much sums it up you know the channel's still going to be fine you're still going to see pretty much the same quality content and everything just possibly might add another clan uh, just to get that top level gameplay for you guys because I do want to continue to have the quality of the channel while at the sta same time staying true to Genesis because I do love the clan it's it's an awesome environment and like I said I do encourage you guys to apply to join if that's something you're interested in if you're in between clans or if you've always wanted to join for a while now is a good chance we're really looking to take in new members so yeah, um, I you know have school and everything like I've said in the past, so I am a little bit more busy than over the summer, but um, as soon as college apps are done in probably two months, a month and a half around then, uh, I'll continue to be able to put even more time into this, uh, assuming everything goes well and we kind of get through this. So thanks for all the support guys, uh, hope you like the attacks, and uh, thank you guys one more time. Uh, genuinely for the support, for your continued viewership. It's been awesome, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, Sectatron out.